Hey guys, today we are in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we are standing in front of Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. And we're here for two reasons. One, they just opened, and two, we're here for one of the new sandwiches, the Steak Burger Stacker. Does anybody that watches us know we always try to go in and get the new items at any fast food restaurant? And they have a total of 469 restaurants located in 37 different states. When is look it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the first time we've ever came across with one. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about going in here and seeing what it's all about. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Not too fine, Freddy's. Pretty simple. It's on the right here in Sevierville on your way into Pigeon Forge. It's in front of the same plaza that has Publix, Home Goods, and Hamricks. And a bright sun facing me right now. What I like about this place is you have some places to sit outside. Something Bobby and I always love to do. And they have some new Reese's creamy and crunchy. They have a milkshake and a concrete. Here's what we're going in there to get. The new steak burger stacker. Three steak burger patties, two cheeses, American and white cheddar, and Freddy's fry sauce. Here are Freddy's hours, Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 11. Let's head in. Quick look at the menu. If you want to see it better, please just pause this video. This is a frozen custard place, a little different than ice cream. They have concretes, which are similar to the blizzards, the Dairy Queen, sundaes, shakes and malts, waffle cones, cones and dishes, and you can create your own. And there's a lot of different options there. Here's their steak burger menu, starting off with their original double at $6.49 for just a burger, bacon and cheese, double steak burger. They have all beef hot dogs, chicken sandwich, crispy or spicy, chicken tenders, Freddy's favorites. And if you want to make any of these a meal, it is just $3 more. It says all meals include Freddy's fries and a regular soft drink. There's your kids combo, your drinks, your extras, and there's the new steak burger stacker up there in the top right. And the different sides that they have. And this is just a better look at all the options on the sides. They have applesauce and baked lays if you want something healthier. So when we first came in, we ordered our food right there. Went over there and picked it up. They put it on this tray. Let's take a look what this tray says. Nice and cold, custard on hold. Because we ordered a couple custards and they said they would keep them for us. And here's what it says about it. Order your meal and frozen treat together. Ask for a custard on hold. Enjoy your hot, tasty meal, then skip the line and tell us you're ready for your custard. And pick up your custard fresh and cold. I like that idea. That way you don't have to wait through the line twice. And it's around 6 o'clock on a Sunday in here. I like the theme, you know. The red booths and tables in here. Ceiling. Pretty neat. When you order, they give you a cup and you come back here and fill it up. And they serve Pepsi products. There's some iced tea. And you can get your own ketchup if you don't like the fry sauce. And they have all kind of pictures of Freddy around this place. And here's one of Freddy when he enlisted in the U.S. Army in 1943. Food is here and I put this burger up on its side so you can see it better when I go over it. This is the new Steak Burger Stacker. Three steak burger patties topped with American and white cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and the homemade fry sauce on a toasted bun. They gave me two fry sauces of different flavors, one regular, one jalapeno, but let's just take the top off this. There's that fry sauce, and we'll always put more on it if you want. Fresh patties, guys, those are not frozen. I heard they mixed them up into a ball and flattened them out right on the grill. 
Look at the shoestring potatoes. Bobby got some onion rings and a chili dog. Now before Bobby eats her hot dog, I want to tell you something about these hot dogs. These are from Vienna Beef. That company's been around since 1893 out of Chicago. So those ought to be good. The company's over 100 years old. So the bun is toasted. Nice size all beef hot dog. Chili, cheese, and extra onions I asked for. So it's a nice size hot dog. Chili sauce I do like. Love the extra onions. And I, I like when they toast the buns like this. This is my favorite type of hot dog bun. I couldn't remember the name of it, but it is a New England style bun. All right, I got the onion rings, more onions. So they are a whole onion. I like the uh, crispiness of the batter, nice and warm. So I do like these. They greasy? No, I don't think they are at all. Not like some you get. These are good. Nice coating on them. All right, guys, let's look at this one. There are the three patties, fresh patties, and you can kind of tell those are fresh just by looking at them. Nice and thin. I heard they're supposed to be crispy on the outside, a little thicker in the middle. Again, got the whole pickle in there. You can see some of that fried sauce. Two kinds of cheeses on there. Let's take this off. There's your burger. The new signature stacker from Freddy's. I'm going right in there and get some of that pickle on that fry sauce. Guys, I'm impressed with this burger. It's very juicy. And what they're saying it's kind of crispy. You can get a little bit of crispiness from that. Nice crunch of that pickle. The fry sauce, can't say that I tasted a lot of that on there. I don't know what's in this stuff. I'm gonna put just a little dab on the outside and try it again. Now that fry sauce is almost like a Thousands Islands and I know what's in it. We're gonna go over that here in a minute. Nice bun, starting to fall apart because it's so juicy. The lettuce, all shredded up on there. You got a little bit of tomato, but the pickle is great here too. But look at that. A little bit of greasiness to it. Very good for a fast food restaurant. Something else about these burgers, these are steak burgers. So what a steak burger is, is either a ribeye, sirloin, and filet mignon all blended in together. So that makes them even better, even juicier. Now let's try these shoestring fries. And I mean these are shoestring fries. These remind me of steak and shakes. And they have their special fry seasoning on these. Let's go at them. These fries are really crispy, which they should be. They're kind of thin, won't take long to fry those up. Nice potato flavor. I like the seasoning on there, and what's on there is salt, garlic, paprika, and it just reminds me a little bit of garlic salt that I put on it at home. Nice flavor. And I'm gonna try some of these fry sauce with them here in one second. Let's see how they are with fries. Looks like the Thousand Islands. That it's on a Big Mac, basically. Now, that's pretty good fry sauce. But I'm gonna tell you what's in it, because I know. It's a little different than the Big Mac sauce they use. This has mayo, ketchup, pickle juice, hot sauce, and the fry seasoning that they use here. But they have a jalapeno fry sauce, so I'm gonna try it. It might be a little spicy. Jalapeno fry sauce. Let's take a look at what they look like compared. You can see it's a little darker than the regular one. Now I like this, but you have to like jalapenos like it because you can taste the jalapeno in it. A little bite to it, not overly hot. Between the two, for me, if I was dipping, I'm going to go with the hot one. Bobby would probably use the mild one. Guys, I'm happy with this meal. I really enjoy this burger. I had to try some of this hamburger. It looks so good over here. So I do like that they put the fry sauce on this. This is way better than a Big Mac, John. It is. I don't think there's any comparison with this sauce to theirs. I love the pickles, but the fresh hamburger, nice and juicy like you said. This is very good. All right, I'm gonna try this chili cheese dog with these double onions on there. That's a good quality hot dog. I can see why that company's been around so long. 
What I like about this, the cheese and chili blend in together. You can taste both those in there. And Bobby, I like the crunch of the onions and how they taste. All right, we just got our desserts. I got the chocolate brownie delight. It's chocolate custard, brownie, hot fudge, whipped cream, and a cherry. Bobby got the turtle concrete. That's vanilla custard, hot fudge, hot caramel, toasted pecans, whipped cream, and a cherry. They both look pretty amazing. All right, we better try these quick before they melt. All right, let's go into this one. Let's go down inside and get some of this brownie. Clear in the bottom. There it is. Need a little bit of that whipped cream. That is so creamy. Let me tell you the difference between custard and ice cream. Custard is made with milk, cream, and egg yolks, where ice cream is just made with milk or cream or mixed up. So just look how creamy this is, and it melts very fast. Look at that. And you can really tell a difference when you taste ice cream compared to custard. It's just so much smoother. Just look at that, how it just goes through there. It's more like silkier. It is, that's the best way to describe it. The brownie tasted fresh in there, nice hot fudge. I like this. All right, mine is $5.89. Mine's more like a blizzard. Got the sun coming in. Wow, that is really cold. So I got some of the hot fudge and the hot caramel. I really like the caramel, but they uh, have a lot of pecans and chopped up real nice and fun. Pecans or pecans, however you want to say it. And a little bit of the Cool Whip. This is very good. What do you think of the difference between ice cream and custard? I think it's a lot creamier. I do like it. But you know, taste-wise, other than it being creamier, you can't, there's no difference to me. Now when I taste it, it just tastes in your mouth itself, it has a different texture. Like smooth, smoother, yeah. One more look down. Let me look down inside it. But they are starting to melt. They do melt faster, I think, than ice cream because of the eggs. We learned that one time we were eating ice cream cones when it was going all over us. Yes. Before we leave, we wanted to show you this. Kids can join the Cool Kids Club. If you buy a Freddy's Cool Kids Club t-shirt and you wear it and buy a kid's meal, you get a free custard. And Bobby and I like this, Military Mondays. They salute all active reserve, National Guard, and veterans with 15% off their purchase every Monday. And if you want to take home some fry sauce or fry seasoning, you can do that for $3.99. Now let's take a look at that custard being made. Now the receipt. I had the new limited time steak burger stacker combo for $12.29. Bobby had the chili cheese dog combo, $8.99, 25 cents more for the onion rings. The brownie sundae was $5.19. The turtle concrete, $5.89. Grand total, $36.44. Saw this sign leaving. Download the app, get free Freddy's. Free original double when you sign up. Well, we just left Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers here in Sevierville, Tennessee. What did you think about it, Bobby? First, I want to give a shout out to the staff. As soon as we opened the door, they were greeting us. Now, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to sit inside because they were very busy. But when we were ordering our food and other people were getting up from their table, there was someone that worked there cleaning the table, taking the trays so that people could, that were coming in, set, have a place to set. But they did have outside seating, mm -hmm. too, if you had to sit outside. And we would have sat outside, but a little too windy. Mm -hmm. So I ordered the chili cheese dog. It had plenty of onions on it. Of course, I asked for double mm -hmm. onions. They were nice enough to do that for me. Chili sauce was a nice, mild flavor. Good quality hot dog. I loved how they toasted the bun. Also got the onion rings, nice and crispy and hot. And I tried your hamburger. It was very juicy. So I'm not sure which one I would pick, but I guess it would just be whatever I was in the mood for that day, either a hot dog or hamburger. Both very good choices. And what about that turtle concrete you got? That was delicious. The hot fudge, hot caramel also on it. It had plenty of pecans or pecans, mm -hmm. whichever you guys call it. Yeah. It was excellent. So save room for some of that. Now for my meal, I got the steak burger stacker. Had those three thin patties on there that were very juicy. Freshly made, guys. Those weren't frozen. I just put them in a ball and just put them right down. The pickles on there were amazing. They weren't just little pickle chips. They were like the slices. The fry sauce in there is better 
than the Big Mac sauce. That's my opinion. The little shoestring fries, nice and crispy. And I like their fry seasoning in there. Very good. The uh, brownie custard that I got, I like that. A nice chocolate, smooth flavor, fresh brownie. I would go back to this place again. I hope they put one of these in West Virginia. I, I can see too. why there's so many of these. So this is a very good place to come to. Oh, this place was a well-oiled machine. It sits right next to Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminded me of. Because any of you guys ever been to a Chick-fil-A, it's just amazing how they do the drive-through. Mm -hmm. This reminded me of the same thing. They were so efficient. And it's just open. So we were kind of shocked about that. Everything was great. I thought the prices were reasonable. I think this is a great addition to the Smoky Mountains. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building.